Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a digital content ambassador for Lancaster University. Uh, I'm in Lonsdale College and I'm a fourth year marketing management student. Um, I've just done my placement year at Adobe, so I'm here to talk about my placement experience. I worked in the marketing sector of Adobe on the Creative Cloud side of the business. I worked nine to five each day, um, but sometimes I would stay later depending what work was going on. Um, and because I did a lot of events as well, I sometimes worked weekends, uh, but that was fine because I got them back as days in lieu they had, so I got like extra days off. So on a regular day, I'd come in in the morning, uh, sit down at my desk, check my emails um, and check my calendar. Uh, we had a lot of different meetings week to week um, and we would have regular agency meetings, uh, different meetings for different projects, different events going on. So I'll just check what I had on for the day um, and then just get going. I found the routine at work an adjustment from uni as obviously it's a lot more structured um, and you can't like choose your own routine um, but you get used to it, the waking up early makes you a lot more productive. So I think that the pros of doing a placement year are you get to really apply the things that you've learnt during your course into a real world setting um, and this really helps like solidify your learning and you really get to put practical experiences to what you've learnt. Um, and on the flip side of that, you also get to learn things that you wouldn't have learned in your course, um, things that you can't learn in a classroom and you really get from real life experiences. You meet so many people on your placement year, a whole new, like diverse group of people, um, and it, you'll meet connections and you'll just like learn communication skills that you don't learn at university. Um, I think the only negative experience that I have of doing a placement year um, is that most of my friends didn't do one, so they graduated whilst I was doing my placement year. Um, and that is, is the only negative I could think of. Um, it was a slightly sad thing for me, but I came up a lot um, and visited them. I got to spend time with them anyway. Um, so I didn't miss out on too much, and it was definitely worth me getting the experience of doing a placement year. Um, it was not enough to stop me doing it overall. So Lancaster gives you so much support when you're applying for placements. Uh, there's often modules within your course that helps you with your CV and employability skills. There's careers appointments that you can get to talk about your CV, your cover letters. Um, they just give you guidance from start to finish. So while I was on my placement year, I paid tuition to the uni still. Um, it was a lesser fee of about 1,600 compared to the 9,000 that you would pay if you're still at uni. Um, and this is to cover help and support that you get from the uni throughout the year, um, as well as I did have to submit coursework, so it would be for grading that as well. Um, and you get visits from uh, university staff down to see you and check up on you, um, and just full support throughout the year, so that's what the fee is for. Um, but you still get student finance help on that, um, and you also get the option for a maintenance loan if you want to take it. So I found the job on either Rate My Placement or LinkedIn. I don't remember which one I found it on now, but they had it on both. Um, and I was originally looking on the management school send out emails with lots of placements on, um, and Target Careers has lots of placement on. Um, so I was looking on those and Rate My Placement, and I found this Adobe one, um, and I wanted to apply for it, so I had to look through the process, um, and they had it on Workday. So I had to fill out all my details, which included basically writing my CV again um, and submit my CV as well as a cover letter. Um, and then from that, I waited about three weeks, I think, or a month. Um, and then they called me and they were like, oh, are you available to come in for an assessment centre? And I was like, yes, yes, I definitely am. My biggest tips would probably be keep a spreadsheet of the ones you're applying to and what stage you're at in the applications um, because they can all be different. People have different amounts of like phone interviews and uh, assessment centres. So that is number one tip, organisation. Uh, tip number two is take advantage of all the things that careers offer. So in LUMS especially we had a lot of uh, practice assessment centres, practice interviews, uh, you could get careers meetings every week, um, so just take advantage of all of those, get your CV checked, 
speak to them about the ones you're applying to and they can help you tailor your CV and your cover letters. Be yourself all the time. Um, at interviews, at assessment centres, they want to, the companies want to get to know you as much as they want you to get to know them. Um, so if you're yourself, you, they'll see if you're a good fit for their team. Um, and it's not just about like how smart you are, how good your grades are, it's really like if you'll get on it in the company. My top thing that I learned from my placement year would be to take every opportunity that you get given. Um, I volunteered while I was there, I joined the networks that Adobe had, um, like the Adobe Proud and Adobe and Women networks. Um, and through those I ended up walking in London Pride, which was a really cool experience. Um, and something I wouldn't have had access to otherwise. Um, as well as just by networking at an event that I went to, um, I managed to bring in a partner to Adobe and managed to host a really cool workshop series with them. And that's one of the best things I did on my placement. Um, and I did all of those just from taking opportunities that I was offered. Uh, hands down, I would say to anyone, it is definitely worth doing a placement year. Um, it just provides you with so many opportunities um, and coming out applying to grad jobs by having this extra year of work within your degree um, it just stands you out from a crowd um, it gives you things to talk about in interviews um, and it just gives you that year of previous experience that employers are looking for